Hey what's up guys and welcome to this week's team of the week predictions Now before we get into my predictions there is one thing I want to say quickly and that is that cup games do not count towards team of the week I've been getting a lot of comments recently about players performing well in cup games They do not count towards team of the week only league matches do so yeah, I'm just getting out of the way now as quickly as possible because as I said, getting plenty of comments about players performing well in cup games when they don't actually count towards Team of the Week. Anyway, guys, let's get into my predictions. Just before we do get into my predictions, here are the potential informs. These are the players who I think could get an inform in this week's Team of the Week but haven't quite made it into my Team of the Week predictions. Now I actually think all of these players have a very good chance of getting an inform this week but I just couldn't find space in my predictions to fit them in. One player I actually think has a very good chance of getting an inform this week is the silver on the end. Whittingham of Cardiff got himself two goals in their 4-1 win against Brighton in a pretty big game in the championship. So I actually think that card has a very high chance of happening, but as I said, I just couldn't make room for him in my predictions, so that is why I haven't included him. Anyway, let's move on and get into my predictions. Haran Tekin is my first pick for this week's Team of the Week. Yes, I've gone for a silver goalkeeper. There might be a gold goalkeeper, but um, there weren't too many standout candidates this week, in my opinion. So I've gone for this guy as my starting keeper. He made eight saves in a 0-0 draw for his side against Fenerbahce. Moving on then to the first defender in my predictions. I've gone for Eric Dame of Borussia Dortmund. He got himself an assist in Dortmund's 1-0 win against Bayer Leverkusen. Moving on to a very popular centre-back in FIFA, we have Miranda. This guy got himself a goal in a 3-1 win for Inter Milan against Sampdoria. Now, I'm not actually confident about this in form because he didn't keep a clean sheet, but um, there isn't too many candidates centre-back-wise this week, so Miranda definitely could feature in this week's Team of the Week. The final defender in my starting 11 is Rafael Guerrero, who got himself one goal and an assist in a 4-3 win for his side. On to the midfield now, we have Hans Vanneken who got himself two goals and an assist in a 6-0 win for his side. Pretty impressive score on there. This guy should definitely feature in this week's Team of the Week. Next to him is this man, Aaron Moy, who got himself two goals and an assist in a 4-1 win for his side. He has actually recently had an upgrade. I believe he was a silver, so this in form should be gold. And it actually looks like a pretty solid card. It'll be pretty cheap and it actually doesn't look that bad at all. Inform Berardi could feature in this week's Team of the Week and this would be a very nice inform if it does indeed happen. He got himself a goal and an assist in a 3-2 win for his side. Switching now to the other wing, we have this man Morales who I have had in my predictions quite a few times before. I think he's been in my predictions twice before and um, sadly hasn't got an inform yet. Hopefully he gets an inform this week. He got a goal and an assist in a 3-0 win for his side. Thomas Muller, who was in my predictions last week, could be in this week's Team of the Week. He got two goals in a 3-1 win for Bayern Munich. Edin Dzeko is one of the players who is extremely likely to get an inform this week. He got two goals and two assists in a 5-0 win for Roma. And yes, I am aware he missed an open goal, which was a ridiculous shot, but still, two goals and two assists in that game should definitely see him get an inform. The final player in my starting 11 is this man Zlatan Ibrahimovic, you may have heard of him. He got two goals and two assists this weekend in a 4-1 win for PSG. So guys, that is the starting 11, let's get on to the bench and reserves. Lauren Henkine is the first player I've gone for. He made eight saves in a 1-0 win against Anderlecht, so a very impressive performance from him and his side. And um, I actually do think he'll get this in form. His team was actually down to 10 men for most of the game as well. So in my opinion, this guy definitely deserves an inform in this week's Team of the Week. Adam Moishter is next. I think I've pronounced that right. I could be completely wrong. Let me know in the comments. This guy got three assists in a 4-1 win for his side. So he should definitely feature once again in this week's Team of the Week. This man, Benjamin Hubner, got a goal and kept clean sheet in a 2-0 win for his side. He also got a pretty good rating on kicker. So he might feature in this week's Team of the Week. One man who will definitely get an inform this week is this man right here who got himself a hat-trick and he also got an assist, so three goals and an assist in a 5-2 win should definitely get an inform this week in my opinion. And now we come on to a silver guy with a pretty interesting name, I think it's Skubsberger. This guy got two goals in a 2-0 win for his side. Nicky Jose could be in this week's Team of the Week. He got himself a hat-trick. Actually, he should definitely feature in this week's Team of the Week. He got three goals in a 3-2 win for his side against Blackpool. Next up is this man, Lee Griffiths, who got two goals in a 3-0 win for Celtic. 
Next up is this man, Kevin Voland. Now, I'm a bit unsure about this one because he did only get one assist in the game. He got one assist in a 3-2 win for his side, but he did get a very high match rating, which is what has made me select this guy. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm a bit unsure about it, but hopefully we will see an informed Kevin Voland in this week's Team of the Week. Moving on now to a potential second in form, Carlos Sanchez. He got himself a goal and an assist in a 5-1 win for his side. And I believe he played like a cam centre mid role. So it could be a pretty good position change card if it does indeed happen. Esteban Cambiasso could feature in this week's Team of the Week. He got himself a goal and an assist in a 4-0 win for Olympiacos. John Goodetti got himself two goals in a 3-2 win for his side. This would be a pretty nice silver in form. A few years ago on FIFA, this guy used to be incredibly overpowered. Don't know what he's like nowadays as I haven't used him in a while, but still should be a pretty nice silver card as it should have some very good shooting attributes. The final player in my predictions this week, I have gone for Carlos Tevez, who got himself a goal and two assists in a 4-1 win for his side. This in form will be freaking awesome, so hopefully it does indeed happen. So guys, those are my predictions for this week's Team of the Week. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. And one more thing, remember, cup games do not count. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Adios.